another tutorial about data tools. Eh, pag, ano ba yung data tools? Uh, this is a useful tools that can assist with solving complex, manipulate data, prevent the input of invalid data, and save multiple ways of analyzing data. One of the examples for the data tools is the data validation. Okay, for the data validations, this is uh, defined how the data can or should be entered. Okay, like for example, if you want to restrict the selected cell with a specific restriction, ito yung ginagamit natin, data validation. Like for example, we have to input the three character only on the active cell, on the selected cell, on this cell. Okay, data validation po yun. And you can also add the draft down list okay, na iseselect lang. That is under of data validation then. Okay, for the different types of restrictions of the data validations, okay, let's open the sample files. This one. Okay, for the data validation, we have a, a whole number text length, date, draft down list. Okay, let's start one by one para at least mas maintindihan nyo yung paggamit talaga ng data validation. Okay, the data validations rule, the first step is you need to select the specific range of cell. Ikaw yung magsa-select kung ano yung lalagyan mong restrictions. Okay, example natin, this one. Okay, whole numbers lang ang ilalagay natin for the selected range of cell. That is C4 to C12. Then for the step is go to the data. Then data validation. Then data validation. Okay, under of the data tools, then data validation. Then click the data validation. Okay, for the data validations dialog box, we have three top settings. Input message and error alert. Dito mo tayo sa settings, mamaya na tayo sa, in, sa message and error alert. Okay, for this one, you can allow the criteria kasi naka any value. Kaya every time na naglalagay tayo dito ng anything, text, word, numbers, symbols, accepted ni Excel. Pero once na pinalita natin tong criteria validation niya as uh, whole number lang, kung ano yung specific restriction lang ang ilalagay natin, yun lang dapat yung pwede niyang ilagay. Okay, then between minimum of 50, maximum of 100. Okay, ang pwede mo lang ilagay dito for the selected range of cell ay 50 to 100. Bawal bumaba sa 50, bawal tumaas sa 100. Kasi kapag uh, hindi natin na-reach yung condition or restrictions na nilagay natin for the data validation, hindi po kayo makakapag-type. And this is the data validation. Okay? Click natin yung OK. Okay? Pag nag-input ako ng 50, accepted. Pag 85, accepted. Pag 100, accepted. Pag 45, okay, hindi na yan accepted. Kaya may lalabas na error po dyan. Yun. Okay? And that is the error for the uh, data validation. The, this valid doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell. Okay? Then, retry lang natin kasi kahit anong gawin natin, hindi tayo makakapag-type dyan as long as hindi natin makuha yung conditions or restrictions na binigay. Okay? Type tayo mga 99. Okay? For that Text length naman, select ulit natin yung selected range of cell. Another example for the data validation. Then, same step. Data. Then, data validation. Data validation again. And for the settings, palitan naman natin siya as text length. Okay, yung text length natin is good for uh, 3 to 5 character. 3, the minimum, and the 5, the maximum. Okay. Okay. 3 character lang hanggang 5 character lang ang pwede mong ilagay na text dito. Pagka hindi natin sinunod, hindi po tayo makakapag-type ng anything. Okay, click OK. Okay, like for example. Okay, accepted. Okay. Word. Accepted. Excel. Accepted. Okay, kasi 5 pa rin yan. 
PowerPoint. Okay, PowerPoint. Okay, dapat din na to accepted kasi it's more than five character. Ayan. Kaya lalabas na naman ulit yung message na sila sabi for the data validations ay yung, yung defined daw natin for the data validation is hindi nagmamatch. Okay? And that is the data validation. Okay? Like for example, for the date naman. Okay? Select again the selected range of cell. Then go again to the data. Then the data validation. Data validation. Then, select natin yung date naman. And, like for example, the date today, ay December, select na lang. That's 12. And off 12 until 15. Example natin. Yan lang yung coverage ng date na pwede natin i-input for this specific range of cell. And click OK. Oops. Invalid. Okay. Sorry. Mali yung number. Kulang pa. Yung day. Yung year. Okay. Then click OK. Okay. Let's type the date today. It's 12, 7. Accepted niya. Okay. 15. Accepted niya. 0, 14. Accepted niya. 12, 11, accepted niya. Okay, pag 12, 17, or 16, dapat ina-accepted yan. And that is the data validation. Yung restrictions na ina-allowed natin sa kanya, yun lang yung gagawin dapat. Okay? Cancel na natin. Okay. Next is another example for the data validations, the draft down list. Kung ayaw mo magta-type, ito yung gagamitin natin. Isa-select lang. First selection. Okay. Dalawang paraan yung ipapakita ko, yung direct na gagamit tayo from the drop down list or yung nakalagay na, may naka-encode na. Okay. Dito muna tayo sa drop down list na to. Select again. Ngayon, data. Data validation, select natin yan. Then, select natin as list. Okay, for the source, ikaw yung magta-type. Ito yung direct na ita-type mo from the data validations dialog box. Okay. Ikaw yung magta-type. Okay, separate lang siya ng comma para hiwa-hiwalay every word. Then, oh, but may money. Okay, sige, sama na natin yung Manila. Then, click OK. Okay, and this is the draft down list. All you want to do is select. Yan na. Okay, center ko lang. Okay. Mas madali. Hindi na magkakamali. Sa-select lang nang is sa-select. Okay, if ever naka-type na, yung i-gagawin natin draft down this, ito naman yung paraan. Just go, go to the data, the data validation, then for this one, ah, select muna natin to. Ayan, this one. Tapos, click the data, the data validation. Then, from the list, isa-select na lang natin. Just click this icon, then select mo lang. Okay, for the draft down this. Hindi na tayo magta-type sa source. Kanina nag-type tayo sa source, kagaya ng ginawa natin dito. Dito naman, isa-select lang natin. Tapos, click OK. Then, automatic, center na natin. Okay, yan yung draft down list. Ayan, it's automatic. Okay, lalabas na siya. Automatic na yan. Okay, if ever naman from the draft down list, nag-erase ka. Like for example, yung China. Nerase natin. It's automatic din. Magkakaroon din yan dito. Okay? If ever ginamit natin, okay, nerase natin yung India. Okay? Automatic din yan. Okay? Pero if ever lagyan mo yan, saka lang din malalabas din dyan. Okay? Kunwari, new. Okay? 
Okay? Automatic din naman, meron din siya dyan. Okay? Now, for this one, yung circle, yung in circle and valid data, yan ay nangyayari if ever meron tayong na-remove na data. Okay? Para makita natin kung nasaan yon, kung ano yung nawala na data, just click the circle and valid data. Ayan. It means yung mga yan ay erase na. Wala na dito. Kaya nasa invalid data na siya. Okay? Tapos kung tatanggalin mo na siya, kasi mas madali makita pagka nakaselect yung circle and valid data para madali mo malaman yung na-erase na or nabura dun sa uh, draft down list sa selected range of cell. Okay? Then clear the validation circle para matanggal to. Okay? Balik natin ulit. And balik natin ulit to. Okay, it's automatic. Ayan na rin. Babalik na yan. Okay, yan po yung gamit ng draft down list. Okay, may another example. To the use of the formula. Pwede ka rin gumamit ng formula. Okay, to the use of the data validation pa rin. Okay, select this one. Then data. Then data validations. Then data validation. Okay, select natin from the criteria custom. Ikaw yung magko-customize. Okay, Like for example, lahat ng ilalagay natin is um, 85 pataas. Okay, for the formula, it's always equal sign. Then, the reference. Where, where is the reference of the selected? Ang selected range of cell natin is C19 until C29. Pero the relative cell reference ang Excel, okay, hindi natin kailangan ilagay yung buong coverage nung cell natin. Just select the, or type the selected range of cell nung unang-una natin. That is C19. Capital ko lang. C19. Okay? Then, greater and equal to 85. Para 85 patas. Or kaya, 80 na lang. And then, click okay. Okay? Pag ako nag-input ng 80, dapat accepted. 85, 95, 88, at 87. Pero pag below 80, like 78, yun. That's not much. The data validation restriction. And that is the example for the data validation. Now, for the image naman, kasi ang nangyayari kasi, yung image na lumalabas is the kay Excel. Yung message na yan kay Microsoft Excel. Ngayon, let's customize the message na lalabas para at least kapag ka lumabas yung message, aware na yung next na gagawin. Ah, ito pala dapat yung gawin. Kaya pala mali pala yung ini-input ko. Okay? Paano ba ginagawa yun? Okay, let's try here. Okay, try natin dito sa umpisa. Select ulit. Then, go again to the data. From the data validations, yung data validations, then the error alert muna tayo. Okay, sa error alert, you can choose the style kung warning, information, or stop. Kayo bahala dyan. Okay, like for example, stop, then invalid. Okay, invalid. Then, lagay natin, please input the data. Please input the number. Input the number between 50 to 100. Para at least magkamali siya, ito na yung lalabas ng message. Click natin. Okay. Kapag ka nagkamali ako, nilagay ko 45, dapat yung message na yun na nilagay ko for the error message, yun na yung lalabas. Ayan. Nakalagay invalid. Please input the number between 50 to 100. Yun na, tama na ngayon siya. Malalaman mo na agad kung ano yung kailangan mo i-input na number. Okay, for the input message naman, wala ka pang ginagawa. Dapat lumalabas na yung message na yun. Okay, same pa rin. Select ulit. Data. Data tools pa rin tayo. Under the data tools pa rin. Then the data validations. Then click the data validations. Then input message naman tayo na information. Okay, tapos uh, input the number between 50 to 
100. Okay. Yan. Hindi pa tayo nagtatype. Wala pa tayong ginagawa. Alam mo na kung ano yung kailangan mong ilagay. Okay. Mas madaling ma maintindihan yung gagamit nung uh, template mo sa Excel with the use of the added data validations. Mas madali siyang uh, magagawa. Mas madali niya magagawa yan. Okay. Yan po yan. Mag-input ka na ngayon. Okay. Kung i-remove -re naman natin yung data validation na dinagay natin, just select, then go again to the data validations. Tapos, click lang natin. Ayan. Clear all. Then, click OK. Automatic na yan. Okay. Any. Pwede na tayong mag-type dyan. Naka-remove na yan. Okay. And that's all for the data validation.